If you are getting started in a big way, you or you already have experience programming, but you have not yet created your With first time show. code, this tutorial is for you. In the next few minutes, I will show step you step by step how to synchronize your light show with music using Reaper S, time code generator, and large to his main console. You will learn from scratch how to configure the system, import your song program, your cues, and make everything run automatically with professional precision. Whether you work at live events, expect a T Trails, or you want to take your programming to the next level, Master Time Code is a tool that will open many doors for you. So get your console ready. Open Ripper and let's get started. And so we start this tutorial of Gray in Spanish today. We are going to see how to make then the, the time first code. step is that we are going to use the Reaper. Reaper program and grade him, and then we will see. How does a time code look like? Go here you go. We already have a show. Let's see it and then let's see the process on how to configure the, the Ripper and how to set up large M. To make this time code then here we start. Ready friends, this is as far as we go with now this. Let's start the process. And is to configure Reaper then go here to file. Let's give a new project ready. So here we start from zero then the first step we will insert. Let's go here to SMPTM. MTC the timecode timecode generator we click it. Ready and we extend this one as long as our song lasts. Click here and go to source. Properties and we will send MIDI MTC here. We select this option, send MIDI we hit apply and OK. Ready the second step let's go to options, and go to preferences. We go here to MIDI devices MIDI devices, let's loop here. MIDI port something I have forgotten A. We have to have activated our MIDI loop previously. We activate our MIDI loop so that it is already up and running ready then. We select this, loop MIDI let's go here to hardware MIDI. Hardware setting which is the MIDI in. In MIDI inputs we go to loop MIDI port. Double click on it. It is enabled but you will find it like this without enabling then we come here we enable it and give it ok let's go here to loop midi port as is well enabled. at that time because i already had then it then simply enable it here go enable and that's ok that's all we do here in this place let's apply and ok ready now the next step is that we go here to track one of from reaper and here we go where it says road let's go there and let's go here where input it midi says. hardware output Go here and select the MIDI port light. Already light MIDI port. And ready we close. Ready so far we have everything configured in Reaper. Now we are going to load our, our song then. We are looking for a song that we like. Here I have one so I come to charge it here we have one. That in the in the Ripper we must leave him some time. Can be approximately 10 seconds. The song should not be from the beginning. Must have some time. So that it can be synchronized with Granometa to give it a time of synchronize and start working. All cubes. Perfectly this. Then we already have everything here. In Ripper, what we are going to do is to extend our time code. Whatever the song lasts, as long as the song lasts, is what we carry to the end of the song. That's all we're going to do. Ready then here we finish with Reaper. Now the next step is to set up large MA then. Let's delete all this to start from scratch. So the first step is that we are going to load here. We go to pools. Let's go to timecode pool. We make it smaller. 
Let's delete this one that we already had loaded. We accommodate here we go to pulse timecode timecode. Slot pulse ready then we arrange it here. This one is coming is already programmed then only is to configure it now we go here to others. Let's go to clock and here we click on system clock to be passed to timecode ready. And here we have to have it in this option if all of a sudden we have another option we have to have it here at link select now so that when we change here he is automatically changed ready and now here we give you store we click here we click right now we go here and here where it says intern we give you select link so that we are also automatically changed when we select here and you can see where this one is in green there it it changes automatically has already been automated their time code Next step let's go here to the little yellow ball. Let's go to options. We go to MIDI we go to MIDI and here in. In MIDI in devices we will select MIDI port loop. Yeah Reaper with Gradem already we already have. All set now the next step is to record our. Our cubes already then. Here we have a group of sharpies. Let's delete let's clean up then here we have. A group of sharpies. Let's record positions that I already have here. Defaults I have been recording them before. Then let's record this position. Then we go here to store. Let's record here bread. Next position. Store we give you here to create second queue. Next position. Store we keep next position. Store we store. 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 Next position. S store we keep the following position. Store we store. Ready we have our whole show. Now let's give him a fake. Can be approximately 3 seconds please. Ready we clean. Now let's try our show. Then first step second then fourth 506070. 80Q90Q oh, oh, and the 10 oh, ready we clean then. We have everything programmed. Now let's try it out. Our. If they are already synchronized. Then the first step is to We select here we go to this we return it We select our time code We give you play Here now we give you play in Reaper Let's see if it starts ready and started We can now check that it is synchronized It is already synchronized and we have to wait the for song it to start Stop running a little bit Our song to keep it from taking so long Ready but that's fine let's try it again We have everything ready Synchronized ready, so now we have everything ready. Then let's start playing the Reaper. Then, let's record here we give you record sorry then. We select, timecode we give you record. Now let's play the Reaper. And we begin the exploration So of here we start. Let's go to the first queue. Let's go to the second one. Let's go with the third queue. With the fourth queue. Let's go with the fifth queue. Let's go with the sixth queue. Seven O queue. Eight O queue. Nine O queue. And say what? Ready here we finish the recording we give stop. We turn everything off and now we do give. Let's play the. To the ripper and it will start automatically. The time code we have here to play. We select here we give you play. Here we give play here and here the show will start. There it is already automated. Ready friends and in this way, we perform a very basic type code. 
basic but that's how we start in this timecode world that I hope you like this video that they have been able to understand very well has been able to clearly explain the whole process to them. see you in a future video I hope you will subscribe and share this video see you in an upcoming video we will be uploading many more, more complex timecodes and explaining a little bit from other parts of the time code. to make it much more perfect and more synchronized see you until the next video